Hello friends and welcome to the Pregnancy Loss Podcast. I'm Valen. I will be your host every Tuesday. I am a postpartum and bereavement doula, mom of four, lost mom, lover of Pilates, watermelon, crystal healing, and most of all, matte pink lipstick. I literally can't get enough. This podcast is to create awareness of all the realities that come during and after pregnancy loss. Not only will we talk about the pregnancy loss part, but also life and motherhood after. This is something that I see rarely discussed. My hope is that you leave this podcast feeling just a bit lighter, but also educated, supported, and really seen. This podcast is not only for parents of loss, but also the grandparents, the aunts and uncles, the family, the friends that it has affected. If you have a topic you'd love to see discussed, leave me a comment on the episode you're listening to, and I'll respond personally. Let's jump in. Hey friend, I am so happy you're here, happy to be back. I know I took a little bit of a hiatus. Um, If you've been following me or listening to my podcast, you'll know that I was pregnant and I just had my baby in June. Um... If you're new here, yes, this is a podcast that has most everything to do with pregnancy loss, but also life and motherhood after. I do not believe in trigger warnings. Um, I will title the episodes in the best way so that you are aware of what I'm speaking about. And that way you can make the choice if you want to listen or not. Um, But I just believe trigger warnings do a disservice to loss moms and dads and families. Um especially in the work that I'm trying to do by normalizing pregnancy loss. So that is what I am about. I'm Valen. I'm your host. I post an episode every Tuesday starting this week. Um, Again, since I'm back from uh, my maternity leave and I'm super excited. Um, So let's jump into it. Um, This week, I wanted to talk about the month of July and what it means to me and my daughter, Evelyn. Again, if you have been following me and if you've listened to my story about my darling daughter, Evelyn, um, I had a stillbirth. She was stillborn at 40 weeks and five days um, on July 20th, 2019. Um, We're coming up on our four year anniversary and I can say that no matter how much time goes by, July is always, it's always a struggle for me, no matter how much healing, no matter how much time passes. um, My body knows that this is Evelyn's month. Um, And I'm brought back to it all over again. So yeah, of course I am also, it's, it's bittersweet. I'm, I'm excited to celebrate her because it's the one day of the year that is kind of normal when you celebrate a baby's birthday. Um, I always envision what she would be like at this age. So upcoming is four years old. Normally every birthday, one ritual that I do every year, I go to Target and I try to find a watermelon outfit um, in the, in the size that she would typically be wearing at this age. Um, why watermelons? Because when she was, when I was pregnant with her, <clears throat> Carter's like theme for that summer was like watermelon. Everything was watermelons. And it was like cute boho watermelon stuff. Um, and also bright, brightly colored things like that. Um, so all the outfits that I kept, they're all watermelons. And so watermelons are what remind me of her along with dragonflies and the color purple and daisies, because that was also going to be her name. Um, so in July, typically it's kind of a down month for me. Um, I'm feeling a bit better this year. Um, as of right now, as the month goes on, I know it'll progressively get a little harder. So I have to really take care of myself. I have to really be aware of how I'm feeling and knowing why I'm feeling that way. Um, oh, so typically, so every year on her birthday, we, um, I order a birthday cake 
and it's normally a watermelon. Um, I'm, I normally find a local, um, like small business to create her birthday cake for me. Um, most years they've turned out beautiful. Um, the last one didn't taste very good. So hopefully I find one better this year. But, um, besides that we decorate, we have watermelon decorations, tablecloths, um, normally I get the kids watermelon clothes to wear. John has a watermelon shirt. Emmett does. The baby does. The girls do. <laughs> it looks like actually I just need to find me some watermelon stuff. Um, I haven't been able to find any though. I found like earrings and um, a few little things at Target. But other than that, I, I don't see many watermelon things for women. But so we'll we'll celebrate as usual. Um, Normally we like to go get, I like to go get Starbucks, but we also like to pay for the people behind us. Like whatever we do that day, um, like if we get out or just do a Starbucks run and then we try to do something volunteer wise as a family. So, oh, excuse me. I got to sit down and figure out what that's going to be this year. <clears throat> If you guys have any suggestions, please put them in the comments. Um, I read all of them and I'll personally respond to them. Um, but yeah, any, any ideas you have would be great. Um, I mean, I, I'm going to guess like beach cleanup and things like that is what I would prefer to do something outside, but we'll see. Um, what else? Before we blow out, um, before we eat the cake, we light candles and everybody goes around and says something to her or for her if they want to. Um, I don't ever force my kids to join in on that because they also have feelings on it. Um, but we tell her our wishes, you know, but we wish she was here. We, um, we think you would be like this. Um, you'd be running around with your brother. Um, just however we're feeling. John gets really, really emotional for this. I don't know if he'll be okay with me sharing. I'm sure he will, but um, he normally writes a letter and he'll read it to her. And then every year we buy like a little, some sort of memory item um, for her. Some sort of type of little memorial figurine or um, things like that. I feel like this year I want to get a ring with her birthstone or something. I think it's a ruby. Um, but yeah, and something I was meant to do, but I never got, you know, I just never got around to it was um, writing her a letter. Of the year. I've always actually wanted to do that for all my children, but I'm, I'm going to try this year and I'll share if I do. Um, I'll write a letter to her and you know, just tell her my feeling. It's kind of like a diary entry. Um, just how I'm feeling, you know, what I, how things would be or, um, what I wish she was here for, things like that. Um, I'm gonna work really hard on getting that done this year. I could just make a journal entry actually. Um, and what else do I do? I normally go through the bereavement books that I have see if there's any new way that I haven't tried to like celebrate her at her birthday. Um, our family is not involved when it comes to Evelyn. Everybody is kind of standoffish and they don't want to talk about it. Um, if you know me, that's really hard for me because I do want to talk about her and I want to include her. And it's so funny because my girls, um, whenever, you know, anybody talks about like how many kids we have or, um, you know, Oh, what's your brother's or sister's name? Like they'll always bring Evelyn up. And for some people it makes them so uncomfortable. And I have to say, it makes me so happy. Not that it necessarily makes them uncomfortable, but that my children know that they, they have another sister. They know her name. They know what happened. They know she was real and that she deserves to be celebrated too and remembered. And my girls will never let anybody forget about their little sister. 
it's just, I think that's something too that's forgotten about is like sibling grief. And I'll definitely go in depth on um, an episode about that. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here, let you know that Evelyn's birthday is coming up. So if you don't already, um, follow my page on Facebook. It's just Val and Webb. You can type my name in the search and then look, you know, filter it in pages. Um, but that's where I'm going to start sharing all this stuff. My life, um, I've decided to do a page where I share my life and things like that because of what I do. Um, I really want to gain attraction on it. I want people to look at it. I want people to see that there are so many of us out there that want to be in the conversation. We don't want to be quiet about it. We want people to be involved with us. We want people to be involved with the babies, our babies that have died. Like, you know how lonely it is. If you are listening to this and you're a lost mom or dad, you know how lonely the whole journey is when you lose a baby. Um, <clears throat> and it's sad and it's, it, it can really hurt your heart. So I'm super excited. I, I love planning for Evelyn's birthday. Um, We'll probably do some sort of also outside activity, probably go to the pool or something like that. Um, We found the best way to, to celebrate her birthday is by celebrating the kids that we have now. And I know some of you may not have other babies and I just want you to know I'm with you and I see you and I love you. And that is also the point of this so that you don't feel alone. Um, I hope you guys have had a beautiful summer so far. Well, spring, summer. I'm so excited. Excuse me. I'm so sorry for all the sunshine and pool days coming up. I'm just very excited. I'm so happy to be on this journey and sharing all of this with you guys. So, um, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments for the episode. If you have anything you want to talk about, or um, I'm also looking for moms who want to share their story. So if that's you, please contact me. You can, again, comment on here, or you can email me at info.valenweb at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you, or message me on the Facebook page. I'm there too, and I'll get your message. So, oh. Have a wonderful day, friends. See you. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of the Pregnancy Loss Podcast. I hope you feel just a little bit lighter knowing you are not alone. Don't forget to share this episode or podcast with another person who may need the message. It is so helpful for me to help others find me. I'll see you you next week for another episode of the Pregnancy Loss Podcast. Have a great week. Bye.